We in Vikings Nation, for weeks on end, some of us, months even, have been talking about this guy, damn near begging the team, please sign this guy. Because the biggest issue for this team from last year heading into this season was the offensive line. You needed multiple moves to make, and they didn't make any at all. You can't make one. And last year, 2022, Kirk Cousins got hit 84 times, the most hit quarterback in the league. So far through the first two games of this season, Kirk has been hit 16 times. He is on pace to get slapped upside his head 136 times. That's plus 52 compared to last year. Somehow, some way, doing nothing even, the offensive line has gotten worse. To where I was just starting to say to myself, man, you know what? If, especially after seeing these first two games and reliving all the hits he took last year through the Netflix docuseries quarterback, if you, knowing that information, if you still do nothing, after these first two games, the only logical explanation is that you want to tank. You want to get a high pick so that you can get your quarterback of the future. That's the only thing that made sense to which I was like, okay, fine. If that's what it is. Otherwise, if you think this is what's best for the team to win, then I'm sorry. You're crazy as hell if you're the Vikings front office. But alas, they did it, man. I didn't, I did not think they would do this at all, but they did it. The Vikings are signing Dalton Reisner, better late than never, four years experience, 62 starts. His, his most valuable asset is pass blocking, run blocking, could use some work, but quite honestly, the strength of this team on offense is the passing game. The offensive line as a whole, they can't run block worth a damn any, anyway. Signing one player isn't going to make all the difference in the world in that regard. But Dalton Reisner in pass blocking, let's say if he's going to take Ed Ingram's spot, this is not a depth signing. This is going to be an immediate contributor. He's going to be a starter, maybe on Sunday against the Chargers. But if he were to say take Ed Ingram's spot, you're talking about a decent pass blocker inside next to Brian O'Neill at right tackle. Or now that we know Ole Udo is out for the year, depending on Christian Derrissaw, you may need to make an even more extreme sort of change where, OK, depending on the health of Christian Derrissaw, maybe take Ezra Cleveland and play him at left tackle. He did it at Boise State and have. Dalton Reisner play at left guard. I have no idea, but it doesn't matter how much they signed him for because they signed him in season. The contract is non-guaranteed, but they needed to make this move. This was really the only thing they could have done to somewhat improve the offensive line, and they did it. Dalton Reisner, welcome. Skull.